Then you watch the interview with, uh, 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 with you. The first question they ask you was, uh, uh, what's the first question? Hey, you've been accused of serious uh, crimes. rape or something like that. Uh, uh, you know, right off the bat, they ask that question of you. And then you see the interview, Lucy Williamson, I believe, her first question was, you're facing some very serious allegations. Have you raped anybody? That's the open question that they ask you. And the video they put up, the first one, they take it down. The second video they put up, that's 12 minutes, like the highlight one, they turn, uh, the comment section is open. There's 80,000 plus comments there. Then you look at Philip Schofield. Yeah. You just brought up Philip Schofield. For people that don't know who Philip Schofield, do you mind explaining to people who he is? Yeah, he was a TV presenter in England. He was very famous. He ran the morning show. And he was grooming children for a very long time. And all the staff knew about it. And the people who worked on the show with them were being groomed by him. And everybody knew. And it was all a big ha 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 joke. And now he's come out saying, oh, please don't pick on me. I feel sad. And the media is saying, I'll leave the guy alone. He, he, he is, uh, when you go look up his Wikipedia, it says he rose to prominence as children's BBC continuity presenter from 85 to 87. Yep. Then went on to do programs on BBC and ITV for going live this morning, dancing on ice, all star Mr. and Mrs., the cube and a bunch of other things. And they interview him. Okay. While he's going through the mess, uh, 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 you know, after 27 years of being married, this one guy that he groomed since 10 years old, his name is uh, McGreevy, I want to say, something McGreevy, yep. uh, that he's uh, uh, going through the process. Matthew McGreevy, they met at 10 years old at a theater group. At 15 years old, Philip follows him on Twitter. Yep. While the kid is 15, he follows him on Twitter. Yep. The guy celebrates it. Long story short, L Ruth Langsford, they work together with. She files a complaint. Then right after filing the complaint, he, uh, McGreevy gets fired. Then he has to take a break. Then he comes out after 27 years telling his wife, you know, and hey, I'm, I'm gay, I'm coming out of the closet. He's got two daughters. But there's a part of it where Matthew calls his wife and says, hey, yeah. your husband and I had an affair together when I was 19 the first time and 20 and all. Yeah. Nobody knows if it was before or not. The interesting thing about him is his brother, Timothy Schofield, I don't know if you know about his brother. Oh, what, the one who's in jail for being a pedophile? was convicted of 11 sexual offenses involving a child between October 2016 and 2019, including two sexual activity with a child. Here's how the interview started. First question, the guy asked him. He says, you've had quite a week. How are you? Opening question. Unbelievable. Versus the question they ask you on the opening, right? And then he turns around and says, the media's interest in the affair was motivated partly because of my homo, because of homophobia, homophobia, alleging that an affair with a much younger woman would have not generated such a scandal. So he gets protected, yep. and he says, "All those people who write those uh, write, write those stuff, do they ever think that there's actually a person on the other end?" Right? This is proven. By the way, this is the part where even when somebody's watching you and saying, "Why are they taking him to court? Maybe he did something." Why are they taking Trump to court? Maybe he did something. Why are they taking this guy? He must have done something. There must have been something there, right? It's stuff like this BBC does. If BBC are watching this, right, I want to kind of remind you of your mission statement that you have on your website. We're going to put the link below to your mission statement. You can go find it. Here's what your mission statement is, BBC. This is why you've lost some credibility the last couple of years. To act in public interest, serving all audiences through the provision of impartial, keyword impartial, high quality and distinctive output and services which inform, educate, and entertain. You say you inform, educate, you entertain, yet you conceal, misinform, and your content's quite frankly boring. You're cherry picking on people that you're talking to. So a message like that gets the average person to say, everything with you is allegedly, everything he did is proven, his brother is proven, yet let's leave him alone, poor guy, let's target him. This is where their argument has leaks in it. 